Let's take a look at the homework problems from 2.3. Uh, I just assigned you 1 through 12. 11 and 12 are your lovely true and false problems, which I'll let you tackle on your own. Uh, but the rest of the problems are just saying, hey, here's a matrix. Is it invertible or not? Um, so they're saying determine which of these are invertible. Use as few calculations as possible and also justify your answers. So sort of say how you know. Um, so let's tackle these. Uh, let's start with number two. Um, so looking at number two, we're trying to find out if it's invertible or not. Uh, I noticed right away that the second column is a multiple of the first column. If you multiply the first column by negative one half, you get the second column which means the columns are not linearly independent, which means it is not invertible. So already we could say this one's not invertible. Uh, if you want to use the really fancy math term for not invertible, uh, you can call it singular. We haven't actually introduced that word yet, but um, singular means not invertible. So uh, you could say that, and since you're justifying your answer, you could say, you know, like first column is a multiple of the second column. Uh, that's not the only way to identify that that's not invertible. Uh, matter of fact, since this happens to be a two by two, if you remember our uh, sort of one trick pony theorem from the last section, it said just for two by two matrices, if AD minus BC equals zero, then it's not invertible. And otherwise it is. So let's look at AD minus BC. AD is 12 minus BC is 12, 12 minus 12 is 0, so we could have said it's not invertible uh, for that reason too. But again, that only really works for 2 by 2 matrices. Oops. Uh, 4 is a 3 by 3 matrix. I notice it has a row of zeros though, which means as I row reduce this, uh, it will not ever row reduce to the identity. There will not be a pivot in every row. I've got one row that's pivotless. I can say not invertible. And the row of zeros means it can't be reduced um, to the identity, or that you won't get a pivot in every row, or whichever version you want to say. Um, okay, so let's take a look at number six. Um, so for six, I don't immediately see an obvious fail <laughs> here. Uh, maybe the columns are, can be combined or they're dependent, but I don't see it right away. And I don't see like a row of zeros or something that means I won't have pivots. And they did say as few calculations as possible, but if it is invertible, which I'm starting to suspect that this one is, um, I need to show that too somehow. Uh, so maybe, and this one looks like it won't actually be that hard to row reduce. So maybe I'll just start row reducing and see if I can at least prove there's going to be a pivot in every row. Um, and I'm going to maybe not write out every single step, but I would start by doing um, three of the first row to the third row right, to clear out that. So. Uh, let's see, that would give me 0, 3, negative 9, so negative 3, and 3 of that would be negative 18. And then I would need to do um, 3 fourths of the second row added to the third row.
And I almost don't need to finish because I can see pretty well. Well, let's finish. But basically, I can see I'm not going to end up putting a zero where the negative 18 is. So it looks like I'm going to have three pivots. But let's go ahead and finish it out. So um, three-fourths of the second row added to the third row. So zero, zero, and let's see, three-fourths. So this is going to be fun. Uh, so that would be times three would be nine-fourths added to negative 18, negative 15 and one-fourth, so negative 61 fourths maybe. Um, the import, I should not be trying to do this without a calculator, so please don't do as I am doing right now. But the important part is whatever this number is right here, whether or not that's right, uh, it's not zero. And that's all we really need, because now I can see there are going to be three pivots. Uh, I can see that from this echelon form. So and say invertible, there is a pivot in every row. Good enough. Um, eight, even bigger, four by four, but thankfully enough, it is already in row echelon form, I can already see there's a pivot in every row. Uh, so I know this is invertible. Uh, same reason, pivot in every row. And of course, they got to step things up a little bit more. Uh, we've got a 5 by 5 here for number 10, which, and again, if you see something obvious like you did with number four or even number two and you can find that it's not invertible that's great uh, the fact that they have this little M right here means they're expecting you to use technology which makes me think that this probably is invertible because they're probably just wanting me to show that there's a pivot in every row um, so let me go ahead, the, probably the hardest part of this is just going to be typing it into your calculator. Um, thankfully, I have already done that. So go ahead and slap that big puppy into your favorite matrix calculator and go ahead and reduce. And it does reduce to the identity, which is another way of saying there's a pivot in every row. So that like matches two of our statements from the invertible matrix theorem already. Um, so yeah, you could say this is invertible uh, reduces to the identity, the 5 by 5 identity, or has a pivot in every row. So it should be invertible. Um, matter of fact, I'm a little curious now. I wonder what the inverse of this thing is. It's probably going to be horrible. Uh, let's find the inverse. Let's see, where are we? Oh, we don't want the, yes, yeah, sorry. We want the inverse. Maybe this isn't gonna work. Okay, there we go, let's find the inverse. Oh yeah, it's nasty. Look at that lovely guy. But it's invertible is the point. We don't really care what the inverse is here. Okay, um, so that's the homework aside from the true-false expressions. And really, it took me nine minutes to do those five problems. See how long it takes you to do the odds that match. And of course, then to track down the true and false answers as well. All right, I think you're ready to tackle the homework. Have fun.